Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the Migration Update for April 13th, 2022 from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. Today was mostly cloudy, although the sun really did come out for a while in the late morning. Uh, this photo was taken later in the afternoon after it clouded over again. The wind started off kind of light to moderate from the southeast, and then throughout the morning and into the afternoon became a strong southwest wind that brought us a pretty huge raptor flight. In the early morning, there were some bald eagles hanging around the bay. And we had a decent number of migrating bald eagles as well. We had a total of 30 for the day. Here's a male purple finch from a flock of about 20 that flew over. We're continuing to see small groups of rusty blackbirds migrating as well when the winds are favorable. Here's a male belted kingfisher migrating by. Remember, the males don't show any brown, whereas the females do. It was a big day for northern flickers. We had nearly 50 of them. And it was a good day for sharp-shinned hawks as well, with a total of 158. The only new species for the season was this common tern. In addition to tree swallows, we're also seeing small numbers of other swallows, such as this northern rough-winged swallow. We also had a purple martin and a couple of barn swallows today. These two sandhill cranes migrated through when the sun was shining. Here we have another sharp-shinned hawk migrating high overhead. And the raptor highlight of the day was probably this immature golden eagle. So you can see the white patches in the wings, although they're not very distinct on this one. And also the white base to the tail and small head. Bald eagles, the head looks like it sticks out almost as much as the tail. On golden eagles, the heads are much smaller, maybe only about as third stick out as one-third as much as the tail. Here we have a juvenile red-tailed hawk, and we had a total of 80 red tails today. We had our first 10 broad-winged hawks of the season, and broad-wings have a pretty distinctive shape when they're flying over. They uh, usually have a fairly straight trailing edge to the wing, very pointy-looking wingtips, just not as big and bulky-looking as red tails. And we had a nice little American Kestrel flight, particularly at the end of the day, for a total of 37. If we look at the eBird checklist, we had 76 species today, so much bigger day than uh, the past few days. Just because of the southerly winds, there were a lot more migrants today. And if we take a look at hawk count for the migrant raptor totals, we had 890 turkey vultures, 2 osprey, 30 bald eagles, 24 northern harriers, 158 sharp-shinned hawks, 12 cooper's hawks, 2 red-shouldered hawks, 10 broad-winged hawks, 80 red-tailed hawks, 3 rough-legged hawks, 1 gold eagle, 37 american kestrels, and 2 peregrine falcons for a grand total of 1,251 migrants today. If we take a look at the forecast, tomorrow is looking windy with rain showers in the morning then partly cloudy in the afternoon. The high will be in the low 60s. The winds will be west-southwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour with occasional stronger gusts. So overall, the wind direction is pretty good, especially uh, in the morning. But if there's, rain, uh, if there's rain and cloudy skies, that might hold back the migration a bit. And then in the afternoon, the winds might just be too strong and prevent a big flight. But I think we'll at least have a moderate migration as long as we're not getting battered around by the wind too much. For Friday, we're looking at partly to mostly cloudy and windy, chance of a rain shower high in the upper 50s, wind southwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour. So again, that's a good wind direction, maybe a bit too strong for what we normally want, but uh, I would expect at least moderate migration and maybe even good migration. And for Saturday, looking cloudy with showers and possibility of snow mixing in, high is only in the low 40s. Winds west at 10 to 15 miles per hour, so probably won't be a very good day on Saturday. All right, that's it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of these daily updates from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.